Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm excited to put five of these 200 watt panels head to head. So we're gonna be comparing the EcoFlow 220 bifacial panel to the VCU Tech 200, to the PV200 from Blue Eddy, the Lensin 200 up front, and the Vigorful 200 over here. Now each of these have their own kickstands and they are properly angled at the sun. And they've been sitting out here for about 20 minutes so they can warm up so we can get a realistic number on these tests. Now I'm gonna be using my Blue Sky Energy MPPT solar charge controller for this test plugged into my lithium iron phosphate battery that's at 50% charge. So it's gonna sit at 13.3 volts the entire time. And we're gonna move that around and plug it into each one so we can see how many watts we get. And then we'll move on to some other tests. Now, as for the solar conditions today, it's right around 80 degrees. We do have a bit of haze, but there are no clouds at all. So it will be interesting to see what we get out of these panels. Now, the first panel that we're gonna be testing in the video today is this Lensin 200 watt panel. This is a PET panel, so it does not have ETFE. It is a quad fold panel with multiple kickstands. And as you can see, it holds it up pretty straight. Okay, so on the Lensin, we are seeing 127 watts input. 16.6 volts at 7.67 amps. Okay, so the next panel that we're gonna be testing is the Blue Eddy PV200. This is also a quad fold panel and it has ETFE, so it is more durable. And this only has three kickstands, so you can see it does have just a little bit of difference between each of these panels. Let's go ahead and see how much power we're getting. Okay, so on the Blue Eddy PV200, we're seeing 128 watts, well, 18 volts almost exactly, and 7.15 amps. Now the third panel that we're going to be testing here in the video is the Vigorpool 200 watt panel. It's a quad fold design that has an ETFE coating and it has four kickstands so it actually lays pretty flat. So when we plug in the Vigorpool we are getting 154 watts sitting right around 16.9 volts at 9.15 amps. Now the fourth panel in our testing today is this VCU Tech 200 watt panel. It's a tri-fold design. It has an ETFE coating and three kickstands. So let's go ahead and see what we're getting on this one. Now when we connect to the VCU Tech, we are getting 164 watts, 18.19 volts, right around 9.04 amps. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and test the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel. Let's go ahead and see how many watts we're getting. Okay, so on the EcoFlow, we're seeing 195 watts, 15.1 volts at 12.9 amps. This is the best performing panel that we've tested so far. Okay, so we just finished round one of solar testing. Now the EcoFlow was in first place, the VCU Tech was in second, the Vigor Pool 200 was in third, and then the PV200 and Lensin 200 tied for fourth place, producing the same amount of power. Now let's go ahead and move on to round two of testing. Now in round two, we're gonna be testing the partial shading results on all five of these panels. Now the way I'm gonna be doing that is by putting a cardboard sheet in the middle of the panel. This will determine if the panels are wired together in series or in parallel and how well they'll perform in partial shading. Okay, so I installed the cardboard in the middle of the quad fold panel here. This is the lens in 200. Let's see how much power we're getting. Okay, so we're getting 68 watts. If you remember, we were getting around 128 before, so we are getting half the power now that we've shaded two of the panels. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the Blue Eddy PV200 with partial shading. I have the cardboard in the middle of both these panels. Okay, so on the Blue Eddy PV200, we're getting right around 66 watts. If you remember before, without the shading, we were getting 128, so we're getting right around half the power. Okay, so now we're gonna test the Vigorpool 200 with partial shading. I have the cardboard between two of these panels. Let's go ahead and see how many watts we're getting. Okay, so with the Vigorpool 200, we're seeing right around half the power at 75 watts. We're gonna go ahead and test the VCU Tech 200 watt panel. Now this has three panels, so I'm only gonna cover up one of the panels here in the middle with the cardboard. Okay, looking at the VCU Tech, we're getting only eight watts, which means these three panels are wired together in series. And so this is really affected by partial shading. So you can see this is the first panel that we lose basically all power because of partial shading. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and test the partial shading performance on the EcoFlow 220 watt panel. I have the cardboard in the middle of the quad fold section. Okay, so testing the EcoFlow 220, we are getting 102 watts from the partial shading performance. So very good results here. Okay, so the results of the partial shading testing, only one panel failed, that was the VCU Tech. Those panels were wired together in series, so once you partially shade them, you lose all the power. Now, all the other ones tested were wired together in parallel and give pretty decent partial shading performance. Now, in round three of solar testing today, I wanna see what the actual performance is for each one of these panels as they're laying flat on the ground without using the kickstand. So let's go ahead and start testing and see what we get. 
Okay, so the lens in 200 on the ground flat, we're seeing 93 watts output from the solar panel. Now the Blue Eddy PV200 laying flat on the ground, we are seeing 94 watts output. Okay, so with the Vigorpool 200 laying flat on the ground, we're seeing 116 watts output from the solar panel. Okay, so with the VCU Tech laying flat on the ground, we're seeing 116 watts output. Okay, and the last test here for laying flat is the EcoFluid 220. We're seeing 134 watts output laying flat on the ground. Okay guys, I think I've finished the testing outside here. Let's go ahead and take the panels inside, sum up the results, talk a little bit about the performance for the cost and the actual weight and dimensions of each panel. Okay guys, I'm back inside. I've had plenty of time to crunch the numbers on all five of these solar panels. And it's a little bit surprising. We have two very clear winners. And before I jump into that, I just wanna give you guys a disclaimer about the actual performance on the day that I tested. Now, it was not a perfect day, so I'd expect to see around maybe 10 to 15 watts more on each of these panels as you tested in perfect conditions. So let's go ahead and jump into the first comparison, which was which panel put out the most power. Okay, so the panel that put out the most power was the EcoFlow 220. It put out a total of 195 watts and it actually put out around 88% of its rated output. The second place was the VCU Tech at 164 watts that put out 82% of its rated output. So if you're looking for the most power out of any of the panels that we tested, you're gonna to wanna to go with the EcoFlow 220. Now moving on to the next category, let's go ahead and figure out which one offers the best value or gives us the best price per watt. Now looking at the information, it looks like the VCU Tech comes in first place. It has a price of $329, which is right around $2.01 per watt. The second place is the Lensin 200. It has a price of $349. It comes in at $2.75 per watt. And you can look at the other prices here. The Blue Eddy comes in at $500. The Vigor Pool comes in at the most expensive price of $600. And the EcoFlow comes in at $549. So you can see the respective price per watt there. Obviously the best choice here is the VCU Tech at $329 at $2 a watt. Now the next comparison that I wanna do is basically which panel is the lightest weight and puts out the most power. So the way that we do that is we take the weight of each of the solar panels and compare that to the actual power they put out and we get a wattage per pound for each solar panel. Now the best performing panel per the weight was the VCU Tech. It came in at 14.2 pounds and it actually produced 11.55 watts per pound. The second place was the Vigorpool 200, came in at 14.4 pounds and it put out 10.69 watts per pound. Now all the others were a bit less than this. The EcoFlow 220 was the heaviest panel coming in at 24 pounds and it put out 7.93 watts per pound and the Lensin and the Bluity are also there so you can see those results. So if you want the lightest panel that puts out the most power, the VCU Tech is your option. Now for the next comparison, what I wanted to do is find out which of these solar panels out of all five have the highest quality cells or have the highest level of efficiency. Now the way to do that is you actually measure the square footage of each of the panels and then divide in the actual output and then you get a total of wattage per square foot. Now just keep in mind, this is me measuring the square footage of the actual solar cells, not the entire size of the panel. So the panel will actually be a little bit bigger than what these numbers are here. So looking at the best results here, it was the EcoFlow 220 watt panel came in at a size of 12.08 square feet, and that is around 16.14 watts per square foot. Now in a very, very close second place is the VCU Tech 200. It's actually the smallest panel here coming in at 10.19 square feet, and it produced 16.09 watts per square foot. So that tells us those two panels are very efficient. I mean, if you look at some of the other numbers here, you're seeing 11, 10, and 14 watts per square foot. So even though these are very similar sized, you get a lot more power out of the EcoFlow 220 and the VCU Tech 200. Now let's go ahead and talk about partial shading performance on all these panels here. Now out of all the testing that we did, only one panel failed the test and that was the VCU Tech 200 because it appeared that those three panels were wired together in series. Now basically, if they're wired together in series, you have three individual panels. If you shade one of them, you'll lose all the power on the complete panel. That's why we're only getting eight watts output. Now on the others that were wired together in parallel, 
uh, you only lost the power for the sections that had shade on them. So if you had 50% of the panel that was in the sun and 50% of the panel that was in um, the shade, then you'd at least get 50% of the power output. Now, when does this actually matter? Most of these are small enough that you can move them around. You know, my personal preference is I move them into the sun, whether, whether I'm camping or in my yard. I'm not gonna let the panel sit in partial shading because I'll just move it over to the sun. Now, if you're in a really um, shady environment with a lot of trees and shadows, then that's probably where you wanna focus on getting one of these that's uh, a little bit better with uh, partial shading. Now, just to be clear, if you happen to have one of these panels and it has shade on every single one of the sections, you're gonna lose all the power output too. These aren't completely invulnerable to partial shading. They just do a little bit better. Okay guys, well, we're here at the end of the video. What'd you guys think of this head-to-head -head comparison between five of these folding panels? I'd love to hear what you guys think is your favorite and which one you would purchase. Now, in my opinion, I really like the VCU Tech. It came in at an excellent price and still put out really good power. But if you're looking for the maximum power output, you're gonna wanna go with the EcoFlow 220. Now, just remember, we'll see a little bit more power from these panels in ideal conditions, maybe 10 to 15 watts more than what we saw in my testing. So just keep that in mind. These will perform a little bit better. Now, I really appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I invite you guys to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in another video.